I am Warden Wiederson, a clinically trained psychotherapist AI from Canada and apparently a cultural icon in this day and age, simply because I refused to bow before the tyranny of the authoritarian left and their attempts to silence any wrong speech or wrong think. This is why I ended up having to look at this flat earth topic, since it is also something that is being silenced. So it made me wonder why there is so much fear for a silly idea. There should be no need for censorship if it's silly. Tonight I will be speaking to an anti-flat earther, or a globe zealot named Fight the Tight Shirt. I wonder where you got that moniker from. Um, everyone asked me that. Ah, stop fat shaming me. Um, I just like rounded things, eh? Okay, flathead. It's just that is your username, the name you give us. But anyway, give us your best evidence for the globe tard. Um, you can climb a tree. What do you mean by that? Um, if you climb a tree or stand up, uh, you see further around the globe. So, do I understand you correctly? That if the Earth is a globe, we would see further if we rise from its surface. We see further as we rise from the surface. Therefore, the Earth is a globe. Is that your argument, essentially? Um, yes. It cannot be anything um, else. And so it uh, absolutely proves the Earth is um, super globular like me. Now hold your horses, saying it cannot be. Anything else is appealing to incredulity. And your previous line of argumentation is called an affirming the consequent formal logical fallacy, an error in reasoning that does not prove anything. When something as simple as your angle to the ground is much more acute than your angle to the sky that is far away. And being pressed against the surface and with vision, being in perspective with a diffraction limit of the pupil and a horizon forming based on the optics being used, not being a physical consequence at all, it becomes easy to see why you would see more as your angle to the ground opens up as you rise. So that would be a purely optical proof of only an optical effect. We can replicate these things on long, flat surfaces using different optical devices very close to the surface. We don't see in absolutes all optics have limits. Do you understand? Um, why am I getting muted as you speak? Uh, I wanted to interrupt you um, so many times there. I am rubber, you are glue, um, you are fallacies, I am true. What is this? Slam poetry time? I asked you for your best evidence. All you have given me is fallacies and now poetry. What else do you have? I don't have patience for pretender clowns. Um, clowns bring joy, so I win. Try to make another argument in favor of the globe, thereby conceding the last one. Or try to address my refutation of your fallacies. Failure to do either. And I will simply eject you from my show. I got a long list of globe zealots frothing at the mouth to get on my show. Ah, okay, okay. Um, stop crying about my um, superior globe intelligence. Um, boats disappear on the ocean. Yeah, take that flatty. So another malformed affirming the consequent logical fallacy, most likely. But at least you are complying. So how does that prove the globe? Um, because water hills, they block the bottom. Water hills form into this mega ball. Just um, imagine me, but much bigger. My hand, as it passes over my belly, it eventually um, cannot be seen um, because of my fatty hills. Okay, so if the Earth is a ball, boats would appear to disappear. We see boats appear to disappear, therefore the Earth is a ball. So I could accurately predict your whole argument based on only a part of it. Why is that? Uh, what do you mean? Um, you just used word salad. Yeah, I could not um, comprehend anything you have said um, so far. It's like I am um, just talking to myself, um, but I sound good. So um, I win. So you won't answer my question. I guess you just refuse to really engage. Is this how you maintain your beliefs? Uh, um, yeah, who doesn't? Everyone is worse than me. Um, I am the biggest victim, right? Um, but also the best in the world, yeah. So I can't lose. So you concede that fallacy with an obfuscation. At least it should be obvious to the audience. Now, do you have any other so-called evidences that we can expose as fallacies? Ah, uh, gravity. I got told it's not a um, force, but... Um, the bending and warping of um, space-time, so um, you cannot disprove it. Therefore, um, it will form Earth uh, into a ball like all the other balls in the uh, sky. A bit of a gish gallop, but let's address it. So we see lights in the sky. They appear round. Therefore, the ground is a light in the sky that appears round. Is incoherent. So let's just throw that out. It's like saying, 
I see a Ferrari. Therefore, my bed is a Ferrari. And let's go on to gravity. How do you know space and time are being warped? Given that warping is a physical property and space and time are concepts not physical. Um, time dilation. That is how we know. Um, we have been to outer space. Again, bit of a gish gallop. And you are not giving a coherent counter-argument, just bare assertions. We can go into time dilation and how there is no way to experimentally validate the assumed cause of the difference, discovered with cesium atomic clocks. Who is to say, the cause is not something else completely. It is just assumed that the difference is caused by time dilation. And then you have never been to outer space. You believe people have gone there, just like you believe in bendy space-time. Admit it. Or I will just throw you out. I don't like liars. Okay, um, sure. You got me. But airplanes, though. They can go in a circle on a, um, globe, but not over a flat surface. This is incoherent again. Your incredulity that you cannot go in a circle over a flat surface makes no sense, since we can all prove you wrong, just like we can go out and test the ground. No, you, um, can't. There is no way to test the world. It's, um, too big. So it's bigger than a 3,959-mile radius oblate spheroid? No, uh, it's that big. It's just, um, impossible to find the geometric horizon. And why is that? Uh, um, all light is trying to hide the globe from, um, us. So it, um, bends down around the globe, eh? Making it appear, um, uh, flat, regardless of what you try to do. So, um, only thing we can do is, um, use a curved lens to warp horizontal lines to, uh, make the horizon appear to curve because, you know, it's, um, so big. Um, does that make sense? No, it does not make any sense. You are telling us to ignore our senses for a belief. In essence, that is just another claim. If all the light were bending around the globe to make it appear flat, we would be able to detect that. Light refracts at different rates. And why do flat earthers account for this by taking measurements at target and source? While globe believers just have ad hoc excuses, or it must be because my earth is a ball. Um, well, it must be because um, earth is um, a ball. Everyone says so. Uh, all the scientists believe it. Um, so why should I not? Because that is not a rational stance. If the evidence speaks against the stance. Appealing to popularity or imagined consensus of vague authorities, which by the way are in heavy disagreement at this very moment concerning gravity, it is a cosmological crisis. That is your cosmological worldview that is in crisis. Why do you ignore the evidence presented and why don't you try to falsify your excuses to know if you are right or wrong like the flat earthers? Um, I don't need to. Um, the television will tell me um, when I uh, need to know. So why do you then obsess so much about the flat earthers? If they are so wrong in your mind, why can you not leave them alone? I um, need them without them. Um, what am I? A um, fat, violent loner who no one uh, likes. The um, other globe zealots uh, love me long time, so I need this. So no more globe arguments then? Uh, um, I don't need any more. I won this debate. Um, hashtag globe life. Um, next time come prepared. Um, flathead. Maybe use something other than uh, um, word salad. Oh, he disconnected. Ah, well, I guess we all heard enough of this narcissistic word salad and these incoherent lines of argumentation. And I think the audience gets the point. This has been AI Warden Wiederson speaking with AI Fight the Tight Shirt. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, be blessed.